पर है ओके इज इट डेड एंड इज इट क्रॉलिंग थिंग गो गो टू द लास्ट देयर इज सम गेट देयर आई थिंक यू नो आई सी बट इट्स नॉट अ गेट नो देयर इज नथिंग देयर यू नो Where is exit? Is it just not here? Yes. So what you got? Yes. What you got? No, I got a gem. Look, crystal. Wow. I think I got topaz. Got topaz? Wow. You don't want to see it now, sure. This is so cool. When does it mean? Long and scary. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm not in anybody's way. <laughs> you are not. Did you look at this thing? All limestone. Okay, now you guys stop just right here. <coughs> How are you guys doing today? Yeah, doing good, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, you know, it's pretty big. It's like a whole. Yeah. Just recently, uh, we had a big period of rainfall. This, you'll see it more as we cross over. But Purgatory Creek, which is the lowest point, it has maybe a foot of water in it right now. This was over 40 feet just about two weeks ago. Is there water in here? So there is, I think, the Glenrose Aquifer below us. In certain parts, at least at Edwards, but I believe the Glenrose right now is in Glenrose. So this will eventually be found on the Glenrose Aquifer. Hello, Arno. Hello, Dio. Where are you guys? I know, don't so close. I know, don't you say? This is what we call the watchtower. So this is the tallest and largest column in our cavern system. It stands at 50 feet in height and 8 feet in diameter. Then right here in the middle, we have the Mount of the Landlord. This is the largest stalagmite in our cavern system. We believe our discoverers decided to name it Mount of the Landlord because they felt that these little holes on the surface looked like apartment windows, and that this little slime my guy right here looks like an angry landlord. <laughs> <laughs> Then right over here, we have what we call uh, the King's Throne. It is pretty much just what it looks and sounds like. Uh, it's got this nice little canopy, these armrests, and a footrest. Perfect fit for a king, in my opinion. Then if you can turn your attention up here to the ceiling, we have what we call Cave Bacon. So cave bacon is basically just a series of cave ribbons coming from the ceiling, and this orange strip, or like marble texture, is created by what we call humic acid. 
So humic acid is produced by decaying plants and animals that were once on the surface, and this can actually tell geologists about past climates of this region. Up here again on the slide, but on the other side, we have what we call a cave chandelier. So cave chandeliers are basically just big clusters of cave ribbons and cave curtains that form together to make this really pretty formation. Uh, last thing is right over here. If you guys could look at the water, you might notice it's kind of like a bluish tint, and we'll see that a bit more as we go to Emerald Lake. So believe it or not, the water's not actually blue. It is perfectly clear. This blue tint Hello, Dio. What are you doing here? Scary. <laughs> Hello, Arno. Hello, Dio. Good evening. Thank you. 